back at it again with some Animal Crossing. Curly still hasn't moved out. I don't have anything against him. He's just not my type of character. Anyways, a villager has moved in. I'll give you 10 seconds to figure it out. Never mind, 10 seconds is way too long. Tangy moved in. And they are sleeping. I don't know if I should disturb them or not. Well, it's best they get their sleep on. Every day I come into here disappointed because you're not selling me what I want to buy. I'm leaving. Actually, uh, fun fact about that plot. So before Tangy moved in, there was somebody before Tangy, and it was this thing. This hamster moved in, and I absolutely hate him. You're probably now wondering how I got Tangy. Number one, I did not use an amiibo card, and number two, it was all luck. The day after Rodney moved in, Tangy came to the campsite, and, well, now Tangy's inside Rodney's house, or what was supposed to be Rodney's house. Don't even think about it. No. Move out! Observe. 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 Yum. Freaking yum. Excuse me. What? Wait, Newton's Cradle? No, no, I don't want something in return. Tangy, I gave you that orange. You didn't need to give me something back. Let's see what Newton's Cradle is. Oh. Oh. This thing. I feel stupid now. <laughs> My island rating. I have done so much. <laughs> you know what? I can really use the fountain. I could really use a fountain on this island. Now the question is, how do I make one? I know it's somewhere in my DIY recipes. Hello, fountain, are you there? Oh, there you are. Uh, I need some stone. I also need to waste more, more of my miles. I have to if I want a fountain. I actually have piles and piles of stone inside of my house. So, looks like we're going to be going in there. Just in case you think I was lying, I was not. Yes. A drinking fountain. Yes. Crap. Yes. A fountain fountain. You interested in that thing? What is it? It's probably something rotten. Let me check. I knew it. It's something rotten. Stamp rally is going on, right? Yeah! Ah yes, the bug exhibit. In my opinion, the most pretty exhibit in the whole entire game. The Sun Peak Path. There's something very relaxing about the space. Okay, so we need the hiding bugs and the dragonfly bridge. Huh. This is the... Oh my, this is... Oh... That is super relaxing. Let's take a walk across it. That was the most satisfying thing I have experienced all day. 
and I'm not exaggerating that. Now it's time for the hiding bugs. This spot isn't as uh, relaxing as the other ones, but I like it. Okay, so we have all the One Piece fossils. The Moloks and Arthropods. And we need the... Pe we need the... Whatever that is, and the extinction spot. I think this is the Pterosaurs or whatever. Pteros... Whatever. They should call this display, not that. Shut up! <laughs> the extinction spot. What's that big orb near the ceiling? I'm sure it's fine. What do you- wait. Wait, what big- what big orb on the ceiling? Wait, what is it? Show me! Hmm. Serenity tank. The little guy's just chilling in the little tank. Must be nice. That spot does look nice for small fish to live. The coast and the icy sea. Well, time to go see it. I think I then go up over here. I could be wrong though. Oh, nope, I'm right. Hmm. Must not let fish know I'm craving sushi. Well, false, I do not, I'm not craving sushi right now. And I don't even know what sushi tastes like, so. <laughs> Ooh, I see, see. That's as chilly as it gets, most likely. Collect all the fish stamps. Well, I've completed it. I know. Yep. Well, I believe that's all for today. Um, see you guys in the next stream slash video. Don't know what I'll do, but bye.